happening, babies? Elton McFall here once again in Saint Jean sur Richelieu, Quebec, just south of Montreal. Gorgeous day! My God, this is so far the best day of the year because today is Happy Saint Patty's Day to you, the 17th of March, 2022. I'm here with Ben, and we are just thrilled. It's just fabulously beautiful and sunny and warm. Is a warm wind actually coming from the south? Uh, right now we're walking here. That's No, no, no. We're not. We're going to walk that way with the wind. And uh, this right here is the old uh, CN station. is still active. There used to be an Amtrak train running here. They will be running again eventually. Look at this white oh, shit. Oh, I heard a motorcycle. We saw one before on the highway. A guy's crazy. It's like not even the time of the year yet for motorcycles or exotic or antique cars or anything. And What is that, by the way? Is that the city hall? It's got those flags. It's got to be important. It's got a Quebec and Canadian flag, eh? I think the planet is screwed up. I think the climate is definitely screwed up because of the fact that it's always windy. I don't know about where you guys live, but here it's like, I, every day it seems like it's windy. Like here, like right now it's not bad because it's warmer. It's actually decent. It's a warm southern wind, but it's still a good wind. Or maybe it's also because we're in Saint-Jean. Anyway, this is a really old town. And you know a town is really old, not only when it got a railroad running through it, but it's actually two train lines. There's a CN line, there's a CP line. They don't run together. And look at that old Dodge Dakota. It's actually in very good condition. There's that old uh, Chevy truck, uh, box truck over there that was there last time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we should go take a look at that. Yeah, let's do it. Ben and I came here last uh, summer. Man, that Dodge is nice. I'm here more recently in the winter, but it was not comfortable. Well, we came it here. It was extremely windy that day. When we came here last summer, there was an old Camaro from, uh, I think, a 79 or so parked, parked here. here. And I, yeah, I should have Wait. filmed it, but I didn't. I was just tired and I should have filmed it. Yeah, look at this shit. Wow, that thing is clean. Holy cow, that thing is clean. There's no way this truck's ever been winter driven. It's too nice. Look, it even has the nice, uh, like that roll bar for the step. It's got the original uh, mags on it. Let's get a better shot of that, actually. It's only the uh, the clear that's coming off of it. Yeah, look at this old cube truck, eh? This old Chevy, probably early, mid-90s. Probably hasn't been scrapped yet. All right, let's go this way. Yeah. Yeah, this town uh, got a lot of old cars actually in the better months. Oh my god, I can't believe how amazing it is today. After after winter, it's always beautiful the first day. Like uh, no, but I mean, it's not like it's eight or it's, it's a high of fifteen today. It might even go higher, I think. It's currently thirteen, according to my. You know, like a lot of old towns. Uh, especially here in Quebec, you got a, what's cool is there's a lot of these houses have different type of architecture, different ages. It's really nice as you're going to see. That's why I came up with this idea earlier because Ben and I usually get together on Thursdays because he's off on Thursdays and I said, let's go to St. Jean. Look, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this, for example. And we are at, oh yeah, the river is down here. Victoria and... And Champlain. Champlain. Maybe that's not a coincidence because Lake Champlain, Lake Champlain is not too far south of here, eh? So. sunlight this is the worst kind when it's really high the sun is like noon light it's the worst yeah. kind of sunlight Ooh, I know oh. that was an international a pay star. I couldn't tell it looked from from, from where I from where I was it looked like a cross between a Mac and a I couldn't it could have not been at all I again I'm, I'm 
not the truck know it all like you are. <laughs> What's this uh, crane truck doing over there? I get the back of the thing. The bell. Work on the wires there. Some of these. This is this place that always has a bunch of Volkswagen buses. Oh yeah, it's here, eh? Look at that old land post. This thing is not young. Oh man, look at that, eh? That's awesome. These, this is typical of these lampposts with these old garages. Look at that. That's cool. It reminds me of the one, the, the, that gas station in Longueuil that has some lampposts like that, eh? That's a pretty cool thing. It's called the Vax. Look, there's two of them even. Vax Garage, Volkswagen Audi Porsche Service. <laughs> See, these are the Volkswagen vans I really don't like. And I guess it's not just because they're ugly, there's just so many of them. It's yeah. like they all survived. It's the ones that are older that I really like. There is a Mark 6 Golf R over there, which I'm fine there. Okay, Monsieur, do we go, uh... Well, how about we go down there and make a left? Sure. Yeah? Let's do that. Hey? Say, excuse me, pardon me, my sneeze. This place. Oh, it's some kind of pizzeria. Pizzeria Vino. Vino. Now, I thought of you yesterday when I was in St. Leonard. I saw there was a Patino's restaurant. Oh, yeah. Now I kind of wish I could go have that Patino's. Oh, look. Top kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I dig that. Let's get a close up on that actually. Yeah, 1990 something. Nice, Mister. It's just for fun. Burr. Ben, you want to be the cameraman for a second? I gotta put up my. I stop. Yeah, Ben and I were here. Uh... I don't know. When were we here, Ben? A month ago? A little more? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. It was just horrible. Just this constant win at like 30, 40 clicks an hour. Horrible. There's the Richelieu River, which is probably the longest river in, in uh, Quebec. Oh my goodness, I wish I didn't see that. Indian cuisine. I wish I didn't see it. Oh, it's closed anyway. It's, it's closed. Closed. Mm. You don't want to go. See, there you go, two in a row. You don't want to go in that, eh? You know, it's funny, Ben, I remember the last time we came here, we parked around here, and then there was like, I went to go use a portable toilet, and I think after I used it, they came to remove them away. <laughs> they took yeah, them away. Like, <laughs> They're gone. That's, that's Put them on a flatbed. That's the equivalent of flushing your waste. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember looking at these, these trendy shops over here. So Gypsy Bohem. Look at this place. How cool is that sign? Check that out. Tequila. Yeah. I used to have that as my ringtone. After maybe a year or less, I got on my. I said, "That's enough." The phone starts. The phone starts ringing. It was like loud and annoying. Yeah. Tanning. This is an ad for a tanning salon. Not gonna be too long of a video, guys, because I'm not feeling fantastic. I'm still feeling very run down, very tired. Whoa, look at that. Very tired, and uh, yeah, the Perry, my heart's not happy with me. I've been too busy lately. Yesterday, I started my latest project, which I guess I haven't even made a video about that yet. And my latest model kit, started assembling things, and rookery! Rah, rah. And uh, then I started painting it, and then I went out, which I shouldn't have really. So. 
Man, I didn't even catch the street name here. I should actually know it's like one of the main thoroughfares here, eh? Yeah. Look at this uh, jazziness here. That's a CIBC. Looks like it could have been a movie theater. There's a gentleman here, a security guard, asking if Ben was taking a picture of the worker working on the uh, the bank here, and uh, he's asking about it there. So, anyway. Anyway, that's kind of weird. That doesn't happen very often. Mustang. See, look, you look at all these buildings, you know, and it's funny because we're in Canada, but look, if you look at these buildings here, there's not really much difference in architecture of the look of any, any smaller town in, in anywhere in Ontario, in the States. This is pretty much how it looks like. All, but... All when, British or French. Yeah, but this one is more French influence, though, eh? There you go. In the southern states, there's a lot of there is French influence. Like, uh, like that. It's a loud electric car, eh? Yeah. And they made it louder because they're driving school cars. <laughs> Perhaps. Valor Media. Oh yeah, and then you got this road here, which goes over the bridge onto the other side of town. The Rue Saint-Jacques. There's the bridge. And of course, bridge in French is pont, but I don't know what bridge it is though. Wait, we're going this way, right? Cadillac! That stupid shoelace sent that again. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Cool color. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know, na, 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 na. it's like so, it's magic. You see all these cars driving through here, generally speaking, there's not poor people around here, eh? Really, look at this beautiful place. Italian restaurant. Beautiful. Very nice. This just looks like a bar here. Oh yeah, look at this bar here. It's called Morse. Like Morse code. I don't know. It's kind of a weird name. Hmm. I was like, who's that walking up behind me? You sure you don't want to go to Morse? Or La Boite? Hey, found that boy Twitter. See, when you say to somebody in French, femme ta white, which means close your, close your mouth or shut your mouth. You know? Like an employment center over here. Let's go down this way. Yep. All right. Let's do it. Oh, it's green. Oh well, too bad. Maybe 
maybe I'll actually be lucky this time and film a friggin' like police or fire trucks responding video or something, you know? That'd be nice. Yeah. Good thing I'm not fat, it'd be even worse. Oh, is that the... Uh... Oh yeah, that's that end. No, I don't want to go in here. <laughs> I don't need to buy more stuff. Look at that vintage RCA sign. With the dog, I always forget what the hell his name is. What's the name of that dog? I have this poster at home, okay? It was actually the backing of a frame. It was, used to, it was used as a backing for a large frame. It's a large photo of the dog with the, the uh, record player. And I can't remember the name of the dog's name. It was uh, the mascot for RCA. And I want to like touch it up one day so I can sell it. Okay, now we're moving more towards the old residential area. I'm not gonna say suburban because suburban is another part of the town where the homes were built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and all that jazz, you know what I mean? So, look at that, extra communications. What's this building here? It's all like, you know, not good. What does that say? Oh, it's an institute. It's a surgical institute. Well, once again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Unfortunately, the only thing that sucks when you're filming walks in these charming old vintage areas, streets, buildings, is they don't have the cars that match, unfortunately. But whatever, that's the way it is. At least the buildings are still around. That's what matters. Ooh, look at this Montalban. Like Ricardo Montalban. Ooh, check this out. I can see this is not going to be a short video. Check this out, I noticed this last time I was on this corner with Ben. Right here on St. Charles, look at this. That for sure, that used to be a gas station garage. It's typical of that time. The, the sign is in the front, the building is on an angle, there would have been a gas pump there. Again, to have a time machine, you know? Of course, the car pulls in, drives over the, uh, the hoses, ding, ding, bing, bing. You know, I remember that. At least I was part of that. Yeah, exactly. Et voilà. Et voilà. Bon idée, ça. Oh, we got some talking on the, uh, the squawk box. I like how the mailboxes here actually look good. They're not all covered in graffiti like in Montreal. Enough said. Look at this charming little house coming up here. I noticed it. Even I could notice it with my poor eyesight. There's a beautiful banister here. You know what would be funny is if somebody came up to me and asked me why I was filming, I'd say, well, he says, I'm a scout for the Chinese. They want to they buy everything. <laughs> they want to buy your buildings. <laughs> Russian oh God Almighty! You couldn't pay me to say something like that. Jesus Murphy. How fast the police get calling you? Yeah, you know, what are they saying there? I'm gonna go pick up cars, drop off cars. Oh yeah, you're right. Look, the track is right here. The CP line is right there. Perfect. That's perfect because I wanted to go. I wanted to do a walking video, just walking along that well. Look at this sign. Look at this. It says parking 31 cars. 
And that's not cases, that's cost. That means the spaces. And I don't know why did they write cost. Why didn't they write S balls? What the hell kind of stupid shit is that? It's a parking space. Space is parking space is espace de stationnement. Uh, that's what I hate about the French language. It's stupid. It's like thing I told you about. Like for the last year, I've heard in the metro, like uh, oh, uh, le porte de couvre visage et moi de couvre visage. Like like why can't they just say mask? You know, well, everybody says mask. Nobody says couvre visage. Tu ton couvre visage là? Stupid. I don't like stupidities. Stupid. Exactly. Exactly. But that's what a world we've become, as you know. Exaggerating. Remember, I've been telling for years that we, we live in a world of exaggerations today. Oh, look at that plane. Let's zoom in on that baby. Look at the zoom. Watch the zoom on this baby. Check this out. It's amazing. Look at this. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Focus. Okay. It's not focusing because of the window. There we go. That's it. Come on. You can do it. Huh? Check that out. I couldn't tell you what that plane was. Probably uh, looked like a 787 or something. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know. Never believe it's like so. It's magic, man. You know what I'm feeling right now? I think what we're going to do after. Oh, c'est le confort André. Okay, André Comfort. Oh, it's Fudge Street or Fox Street. Man, is it Fouch or Fuck? Fouch? No, no, there would be a U in there. Oh. No, I, I, I guess it is Fuck. Well, we might as well walk up to the line and see what it looks like. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about maybe a nice uh, cream cheese bagel. I'll have to wait outside to look at that the car. No, 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 we have to go to the car anyway because I don't think we're anywhere near it, Tim, so... Oh, the car is way back that way anyway. Nah, I'm not worried about it. Man, look at all them lights. That doesn't even look old. One track only, eh? Yeah. Was it always one track? I don't know. I Signals over there. You want to do like uh, stand by me, huh? Train! Train! Oh yeah, this is where there's more of these bars. I think at restaurants, uh, much more of a happening place in the summertime, eh? I don't remember seeing this fence here. Ben's like, oh yeah, it was here last year. I'm like, yeah, well, that doesn't look old at all. And I'll tell you something, you know it's not old, not only because it's how like, great condition the fence is, but it's black. That's Everything's black today, so it just goes to show you how redundant things are today. I mean, there's like, what, two trains that run here a day? Ah, what are you going to do? But then again, people are fucking stupid today, too, a lot, in a lot of respects. They, they take chances, you know? If we go down one block or two, we're not too far from the car, right? Eh? Cars behind it. So, what do you want to do? I don't know. It's up to you. It's your video. <laughs> uh, let's go down one block. And we'll come back. Okay. You would want that ball, though. Which one? E60. Yeah. A wagon. Oh, green. Clear. Clear signal, I told you. It's a clear signal. Going, going east. Uh, yeah, going east. Going, going east. east. Work train? Loram rail grinder. Bad time. You know you say that the Loram rail grinder. Well, hell's bells. There usually is a train that comes by here in the mid-afternoon around CP train 251. But look at this. There's a clear signal heading eastbound, heading towards the townships, towards Farnham and all that stuff. So, you know, and it's like after one, maybe close to 1:30. I don't know. What is that, an expedition? Common in the States, not common here. Well, me and Ben are quite intrigued as to be what could be coming here because there's no train schedule to come at this time going going eastbound. So it could be a work train, it could be a Loram rail grinder, it could be a track geometry train, it could be a, a CP executive train. I mean, it could be a lot of things. It could be just an engine move going to Richmond or Farnham. So, well, let's walk a bit more. 
It's also surprising they got that signal already lit up because you know and I know. See, the difference, one of the differences between Canadian Pacific and Canadian National when their signaling system is when CN uh, puts up a green signal, it usually takes a while before there's a train, but when CP puts it up, it's usually within minutes. You know, love that blue. J'aime ton bleu chaud. Here's the old Canadian Pacific train station. Closed off to the public, public unfortunately. I like those doors. You know, a lot of old train stations, they often become restaurants, but this one... Wasn't it this one or the CN one that became a restaurant? How about I just do the whole video just filming you with the whole background moving, you know? Don't need no selfie stick. Anything in here? You can't really see much in there. It's like a controller's office with empty walls. It's pas mal vide. That's why I said uh, in French, it means translate to it's pretty empty. Pretty empty. More to the fence, you can walk on the platform. Pitch black in there. Oh, yeah, eh? What the hell is that? Man, that's jacked up. Okay, no, that's not a Ranger, that's an F-150, but what's the one next to it? I think it's huge. Oh, they're both old Fords. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty strange. Yeah, to have a time machine, man, to have a time machine. Imagine big steamers coming through here. Where? Where is it? Oh, yeah. I saw one the other day. The thing is like mint on Marketplace. So now I just told Ben, I said, let's just keep walking here. We're going to miss that CN train, but you know, I don't like standing here around like this. So let's see if we can get the CP train coming there. Because I think, I really think there's a CP train coming. He heard CN, I heard CP. I mean, there's definitely that 324 CN. We're not going to catch that. He says it's uh, at or coming to a diamond. Diamond, by the way, is, is when two trucks, two track, two train tracks, they cross each other, literally. So, every time I hear those bells, it reminds me of the movie Twister. All right, I'm not going to continue filming this here because the lighting isn't good. And unfortunately, the, uh, the the charm of the town is definitely definitely lost in itself here in this area. So I'm just sure the lighting's not right. So I'm just going to stop over here. So now we're we're walking back towards the SCN line, which is a few blocks from here. And I'm not going to continue filming this because, as you can see, the lighting's not on the side I want to be, and it's a little windy. So just to give you guys an update, I may or may not continue this video. We shall see. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, can we run? Ah! Not gonna get it. Shouldn't even be running. Stupid scooters! Hate them! Goddamn scooters! Oh, I can see the top of the truck is there. Truly, it's not It's the old train dodge! Not 
kidding. I'm on the wrong side for lighting. I made it. I made it. Ooh. I had to run for that, man. The old mechanical bell. How cool is that? Right, right on, heading to St. Albans, Vermont. First time I get a CN train here in St. John's Sur Bistro. You're right on, baby. I know I saw this train at Turcotte like two, three hours ago. I thought I wouldn't see it again. I thought we needed it already long time. This is all thanks to my friend Ben and his automobile. Hells yeah. Uh, long train, 244 actually. That's what I like about you. You, you already asked, you already said what I was gonna. Isn't that the same Dodge I just saw before? Look at that, a Dodge and a Dodge. Dodge, Dodge. and Dodge. No, notice this old track that's just used? Dude, if I didn't, I know. If I didn't have to go take a whiz, I'd say we go back to the CP uh, line. I'll tell you what, let's go get the car. No, we're not parking the car here. Man, it's like, it's like, the car right it's now. like the old days, eh? The old mechanical bell. Even that first engine, it's like, uh, it looks like an old. No, it was a Jeevo the first Jeevo? Trailing engine with the M-Dash 2 though. Decent I feel like we're in a small American town here. I know, I love it. It's like all these videos we watch. I mean, we're, we're from Mont you know, Montreal. There's even surrounding areas. They don't blow the horn anywhere, yeah, practically. Cars, yeah. Hey, she's as old as me. Wisconsin Central. They're showing you how to read those. There's like those little black square white frame around them on, yeah. the, on the cars. It says built. That shows the built date. Month and year. 87. Southern Illinois rail car. Tell you one thing. Now at this point, if we got 251, I'd be kind of tempted to put both visual videos together, but probably not. Dude, why does that say Charette? So after what? After St. Albans, Vermont, what happens? Does this thing change power to uh, Norfolk Southern or something? No, uh, it's off the train, it picks up a new train and it comes back at 323 by day 10. Actually, I think now that I think about it, first of all, it was a great idea to come here. And second, I thought to myself, well, if we did get CP251, what if we also got those CN switchers? Now, that would be one hell of a good video. Yeah, cool wide angle. Yeah. There's a bunch of wire there. That's a pretty long train though, bro. It's moving slow, it seems longer. It's going really slow at that point. That's so it lasts longer. Exactly. You're able to get a read on, on this abandoned track too when they're the other side. Boy, look at these these old town these they're not old at all, they're new, these townhouses, they look out of place here. Man, I didn't have, have to look closely on the rail to know it's old. It's Dominion Rail. 1949. Wow. 
Look at that, I've never seen that before. Check that out, Union Equity. Cool. That's the same body man you had when I saw my first car down here. I'm longer than I thought you was. But I can't close the lead. Once you clear the screen, it's on the ceiling and it's a big tough Right on time. And thanks for watching. Wow, this has been a very fruitful event here to St. Jean. I thought you'd get that train. I filmed that Mercedes. Oh my lordy. Well, now that I finally got the lighting I want on these homes here, now I can actually continue this a little more, wrap it up, walking back to the car van here. I can't believe the luck we've had. Tai Chi, hey, my mom does that. Gu Chong, she does that. I didn't tell you that, eh? Well, I don't think she does it now. Well, maybe she does, actually. Nothing wrong. Well, nothing wrong with doing that, even if uh, she might have Perry like me. I don't know. Solara convertible. Hey, we're not going anywhere anywhere yet. Maybe I will get those fire trucks responding. I can't believe Ben got those fire trucks responding. I got two fire trucks responding and a chief while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, lead the way now. Columns. Looks like a funeral home. Uh, I was right. <laughs> I was totally bang on. Don't you love it when you have your day, those days? Everything is spot on, right? Nice Astro there, or Jimmy? Uh, no, I think it's an Astro. Regular winter tires are noisy. <laughs> You're doing good. Oh. -oh. oh, you know what I'm noticing? Did it just become all of a sudden a little more upscale over here? I don't know. Yeah, look at the houses. Oh yeah, no no, not could be. They definitely some of these are more upscale. Where? Next block, turn right. Excellent. Hey, look, a little cemetery. That's kind of weird. I don't know why Hold I think on. it's... cemetery. The tombstones are all angled like this. Yeah, that's weird. Angled. See if you can see some dates on there. Uh, I think it's so old. It's so nice to be outside and there's a warm wind. It's not cold wind. It's warm. Mind you, it smells like beer here for some reason. I guess that's because they buried all the drunks here. Man, they're old. Look how lopsided those tombstones are. On the 25th of May, 1810. What? Same Which one? That one, the tall one there. And the other one back there, I said 1810 as well. Back there, 1810. Ah, yo, 1810. Yeah, this, this is... Uh, Incredible. I think this was a church and it's not so much That's what I was that's what I was thinking too. I said there's a graveyard on their lawn. That's so that is, I know that's so bizarre because look the church is here. No, it was a church, it's not a church anymore. Or no, if it is this here. Yeah, I see no. it. I can see it. Yeah, this is new. This is yeah, that's weird. Unless that was the convent for the church. But you gotta wonder though, no no, this is bro, bro this looks new. I almost wonder it almost looks like I have to wonder if they'd moved the tombstones on part of that, but anyway. Look, even this, this all looks redone. It's all redone. There's stained glass in those windows. Are we near a brewery or something? It smells like, like uh, what's it called? Yeast or something. Yeah, it smells like yeast. Big time. Oh, yeah, it has to be. Like that like that factory near my place. Look, yeast has something else. I guess that's the bottom part. Well, guys, I think that's going to be about do it there. I'm tired of filming. I think there's been enough anyway. So uh, it's been a pretty good damn good uh, walk. And uh, maybe uh, life will get better as time goes on with spring coming more and more. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like what I do and you want to show your love,
you know you can send me whatever you want five dollars to hundred dollars or whatever with uh, my uh, email which is elton mcfall at hotmail.com elton mcfall at hotmail.com it would be much appreciated you can do that through an e-transfer inter interact or paypal and uh, i'll just keep banging out these wonderful walking videos and i thank ben once again for making this possible you know because to come here by bus would be really kind of a joke and uh it's much more complicated so uh yeah but i just think to see how much new housing there are, or apartment buildings condos they built here it's not surprising it just goes to show you how uh it's anywhere near montreal that's like that so take care guys be good and uh, for a better tomorrow bye bye